Now I want y'all to put y'all hands together right now, dude. For Strangler, motherfucking J! Kelly joke, and they were not related. <laughs> so this is my my third set, uh, my third stand-up set here. Uh, in, in in general, uh, I did so tonight. We'll see how we'll see how it goes. Uh, last night I did the Baja Grill. Anybody do the Baja Grill? The two comics that are like pretty good tonight. But it's supportive. First night though, first night doing stand-up in a long time. I did the fucking dive bar. Ooh. <laughs> has done the dive bar. <laughs> Holy shit with that place, oh my god. That was like the bar from Deadpool. <laughs> oh my god. There was tattoos and like people killing each other. It was the bar from Gremlins, you remember that shit? The hanging from the chandeliers and shit. The people were multiplying in the corner of the water. Oh my god, that was crazy. All right, uh, but so far, so th this one is the funnest bar so far. I mean, as far as like, Watching, exactly. Uh, but also, I, I like the ambiance here. <laughs> like the, uh, the lighting. I mean, this, <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is the only bar where, like, I can tell jokes and retain my anonymity. Like, <laughs> like, I feel like I'm in the witness protection program up here. <laughs> uh, and then the best part of it is this right here. You take a shit, you're the feature act, right? <laughs> pretty good. All right. All right. So. Um, I'm tall, you, you know what that's about. Mel knows what that's about, so, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is exactly what happened to the dive bar. I, just, I start talking and then the whole thing just goes black right there. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so tall on the fucking location, right? They're like, need a jack, right? Actually, I'm not really that tall, I'm just high as shit, and so that adds to the height, right? So I'm so tall, I'm so high, you're seeing shit is what it is. Weed Maps, I, that used to be my company. I used to work with them. Very nice, very nice. Uh, when you're tall, uh, you get to do tall guy shit. Uh, you avoid tr public transportation. Uh, you play limbo in the shower, right? That's, <laughs> that's true. Um, and uh, and if, you, if you go through a doorway on an up step, you become retarded for a full three minutes. That's pretty good. <laughs> And if you meet another uh, another tall person, you have to uh, fight them, have a quickening, and cut their heads off because there can be only one. You know, after, afterwards we're gonna have to one of us is gonna have to cut each other's heads off. It's gonna be a bad scene. I like the hiding. <laughs> You'll watch it on the video. Uh, all right. <laughs> also, uh, when you're tall, you get to do uh, you get to fuck with people. Like I'll dress up like Abraham Lincoln, walk into a convenience store and buy four scores. <laughs> Thank you for growing at that one. As she went to college, so that's good. Uh, oh, by the way, did you know that four score is a clever way to say 420? That's what that shit means. Uh huh, that's uh -huh, pretty good. This is how I know that Abraham Lincoln was a stoner. Just getting high and freeing slaves, like, oh shit, man, you mean they're not getting paid all this time? Holy oh, shit, that's a bummer. <laughs> that's a bummer, man. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, in, in my mind, Abraham Lincoln sounds exactly like Tommy John. <laughs> like, oh I man, we should do something about that shit, man. Uh, 420 and several years ago, our grandfathers gave birth to this continent, man. Big <laughs> joke. <laughs> uh, uh, legal weed? I know you're happy about it. I know you're. I, everybody in the room. It's about damn time, in my personal opinion. I'm just surprised it took California that long to, to get legal weed. It's number ten. It's, I mean, they got Humboldt County, Hollywood. Hollywood runs on weed. Like without weed, we'd have half the actors, maybe maybe half the actors. Um, like uh, no more James Franco. Uh, Eminem. Shit, the entire rap industry would never have happened. That wouldn't have ever happened. Uh, and, uh, Keanu Reeves. I, with, without weed, I don't think Keanu Reeves would have been born. That guy's like part weed. I, I think he's a human cannabis hybrid, right? Here's, here's Keanu in every movie. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the same vocabulary as Little John. 
Yeah. Like, whoa, what? Yeah. What? 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 Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, I, actually, I have a theory about Keanu that he's not like really high all the time. Like, actually, you know, uh, you know how in movies like uh, The Matrix or does anybody remember Johnny Mnemonic? Remember that yeah. one? He's got like in those movies, he's got a hole in his head for like computer ports, phone jacks, things like that. I think that he actually has that hole. Like Keanu Reeves has a hole in his head, and Hollywood just makes use of it. That's right. Back in the early '90s. I drilled into the back of my head chasing the perfect high. Yeah. I don't get headaches anymore. <laughs> it's, it's an old one. Like if drill, never mind. Okay. Uh, I would I just like the guy's demeanor. Uh, I would watch a show where where he just stands there with a stupid look on his face and uh, and ask questions, right? Get uh, get someone good to host it. Morgan Freeman, you mentioned Morgan Freeman. Is there only Morgan Freeman in there? <clears throat> Few people know that apart from being a powerful force in Hollywood, <laughs> actor Keanu Reeves considers himself to be a bit of a philosopher. <laughs> ha. I'm Morgan Freeman. Ha. I'm a 70 year old black man with chocolate chips on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Way to destroy my <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Alex, just Alex. <laughs> <laughs> just, just trying to be, uh, no, just, just being Alex. Just, just being Alex. Uh, just, just be Alex. He's just being Alex. Um, I'd like you to join me for a brief look into the mind of Hollywood legend Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Philosophizing with Keanu Reeves. If an Asian salad is made in America, is it an Asian American salad? Do fish drown? Whoa. <laughs> Does the Pope shit in the woods? Where's my chapstick? What the fuck? <laughs> Where is Carmen Sandiego? I've been looking for her since I was a kid. <laughs> Who keeps taking my fucking chapstick? God damn it. Uh, let's see. Can you choke a giraffe? <laughs> what about a clothesline? Yeah. Knock that motherfucker out. I've been literate for three years now. I have like 14 fucking chapsticks. How do phones work? Are you eating them? Fuck! <laughs> Where am I? Philosophizing with Keanu Reeves. Very good. Alright, uh, what about the main. Oh, there you go. A little, 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 little golf clap for philosophizing. And I have chocolate chips on my. <laughs> <laughs> 30 more years, you'll get the chocolate chip. <laughs> or, or, or if you just get lupus. Or if you just get lupus. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry you turned this off. Because uh, like this was scaring away all the worst bar patrons, which are the epileptics. <laughs> right? Yeah, you don't want to, no seizures, that, that, that upstages you. If you have a seizure, yeah, that draws attention. Uh, what about The Matrix? You guys remember The Matrix? It's a good movie. The first one was pretty good. But then they followed it up with a couple of long-winded dancing next to lava pieces of shit. It's like, it's lava. It'll burn. You don't have to be in the lava. For it. <laughs> Just right next to it, you're still going to melt your face off. Um, <laughs> oh, but then the best part about it is, I don't know if you heard about this, the, uh, one of the directors decided to chop his dick off and become the ugliest woman in the world. Did you see that? The uh, Warshawski siblings now? Uh, he's basically the real-life Mr. Garrison from South Park. I'm finally the woman I was meant to be, Mr. Slive. <laughs> Let's make another Matrix. I want to see Keanu fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 if I, if I would have made those movies, I'd have made it a comedy. Like, uh, like give him like, a, uh, a good comedy sidekick. Someone like Owen Wilson, right? He'd be like, I know Kung Fu. Yeah. Hey, I know Kung Fu too, man. Asian guy lives down the street from me. Real nice guy. He's teaching me karate. <laughs> Look, dude, I work alone. How can I be the one if there's two of us? Then I'd be like, I'd be like, the two. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna end it right about there, so that's pretty good. Uh, I got a. Uh, <laughs> I've got other stuff, but I'll save it because I'm coming back next week. This is this place is great. If you don't mind, you like me? All right, cool. I'll come back.
back next week, I'll do some other stupid shit, dumb voices and stuff. Every time. <laughs> uh, I also, uh, uh, if anybody wants, I got a, I got a movie for sale. And uh, check out Evil Dead the Musical. Uh, it's my day job. I play Ash and that shit. So yeah, there it is. Woo! Man, give it up for my dog right here, y'all. Come on, man, put the shit. <laughs>